there are several key concepts to understand about the economy in distant worlds too. First, it is divided into a state economy and a private or civilian economy. The private economy can be guided, enabled and protected by the state, which is you as the player, but you are not able to fully control it. The wealth of your empire rests on the foundation of your colony worlds, where your people live, in order to be able to afford to expand to new worlds and allow those worlds to grow and prosper. You first need to make sure they have good access to resources. As the state, you can guide the creation of an extensive resource mining economy. That's based around private mining stations and mining ships that extract resources from all over the galaxy, which are then transported by your civilian freighters back to your spaceport hubs and your populated worlds. There are many resources, but they come in three main types. Construction resources, which are required to build things, and also are important for your colonies to grow. Reactor fuel, which is critical for faster than light travel through the galaxy and thus the continued functioning of your star lanes. Luxury resources, which are important for the development of your colonies. Looking at a populated colony world, the population level is very important in distinguishing a starting frontier colony with few people from a self-sustaining world. We can see that your population has a growth rate in order for that growth rate to be optimized, your colony needs abundant access to construction resources and a healthy credit cash flow to fund extra infrastructure and growth. The second key part is the development of a colony, which in combination with your population determines the economic output of each world. Worlds with low development produce less revenue. Your population contributes development but you also need to ensure a colony world has access to a wide variety of luxury resources in abundant quantities. This will primarily increase development, but also happiness and growth. You can also see corruption, which in DW2 means the absence of state control, and defines how much of the economic output created by your private citizens on that world is within your reach as the state. The tax rate on that remaining output determines the state revenues for that world but can also negatively influence your colony happiness. If you set up a good resource economy and protect it with your military ships and stations and make sure your freighters can transport resources without being attacked or inhibited, your population will grow, your revenues will increase, and along with that, your state income will rise. If you fail to protect your economy, you may face shortages and economic declines which may force you to seek new sources for those resources or solve the problems that created the shortage in the first place.